are taking on scammers, rigged systems, and people out to get your money. And today, a brand new alert about a growing trend, butt enhancements in a bottle. Less invasive, less expensive than surgery, these butt enhancement pills are blowing up the market. You've got all kinds of celebrities out there, you know, Nicki Minaj, Iggy Azalea, Kim Kardashian. They've kept this body trend really popular. But for most of you, that tiny waist and big bottom can be impossible to obtain naturally, causing many women to go to great lengths to try. And I don't want any of you getting duped. Core team member and expert Dr. Jane Caudill is here. She's investigated these butt enhancement pills from every angle out there. Look at the biggest brands out there, all the ones that are being popular right now, that are being bought. So what surprised you the most? Well, Dr. Oz, I mean, people want big butts. I cannot <laughs> lie. <laughs> um, they really do. It's a phenomenon. You, you actually just showed some pictures of it. And people are really wondering, do these supplements work? And, and rightfully so, they're asking these questions. Um, that's the big question. That is the question. Is this just sort of fishy business? Or is there real scientific evidence to back these claims up? Yeah, these are real products that are out there, and we look at some of the claims that these companies are making. Dr. Otto, we're going to put them up on the board behind us. These are real phrases taken from marketing material aiming to sell these products. Folks, look at some of the words they use. Look at they use the word natural. You know why? Because they're preying on your instincts to be healthy. It says, helps you increase your butt and hip size naturally. If I want to be healthy, that's how you do it. Right? And you know, you know that they're, they, all, they all know you're busy. You know you're busy. So what do they say? They say, you won't need to spend hours, long hours in the gym. And they know you want to be beautiful. So they tell you, you'll always get that second look. Right? I've got lots more like that. But when I see phrases like this, where they target your emotions, that raises a lot of questions to me. But as we continued our investigation, we found things that we never expected. So Dr. Caudill, let's go through some of the things that we found. So this is a list uh, of reviews. Now, you know, when I look at products to buy online, you hope you guys all do too, we look at these reviews. Some of these products that are being sold, the ones we just showed earlier, they don't have websites. But you can easily order them online in marketplaces like Amazon.com. But even without websites, even without websites, these products have hundreds, right? Hundreds, if not thousands of people Reviewing them and giving them really good grades. I mean, positive stats on all the products that we ordered. I mean, overwhelmingly supportive of getting more of them, right? Four and a half stars, four stars, right? Thousands of people. So you did a, dig, a, a deep dive into this. How is it possible that these companies with no real exposure are getting so many people to review them? Positively. Yeah, well, no, I actually feel the same way as you. And, and this was really interesting, in fact. There's actually a lot of evidence that suggests that some of these reviews are actually fake. Um, and that's really one of the concerns here. So let, let's just sort of break it down a little bit. Um, one of the things, if you notice, many of these reviews are, are verified. You see the verified purchase here, verified, yeah. verified. All that verified. means, yeah, that means they're all verified. That means that someone actually purchased a product, which is a good thing. We think, oh, well, that sounds good. But if you look more closely, you see the dates, January 23rd, oh, the yeah. 23rd, the they're all written on the same date. Now, keep in mind, this is a small sampling. We have so many reviews. This is just a small amount of them. Internet experts actually say that when you see sort of similarities like this, it can be an indicator of a common scam in which sellers will actually pay lots of people to buy the product and to write positive reviews about it. And actually, this is more common than we might think. It's not talked about it a lot. Um, I was really surprised to see this. And actually, the unit here, um, they found a, a website mm -hmm. that actually uses a special algorithm to grade sellers on how authentic their reviews are. Uh, and when we looked at some of these reviews, they all got the grades of a D or an F. So they didn't do so well. So That's F. exactly right. They didn't do very well. Now, of course, we can't say exactly who wrote these reviews, right? We can't say that. But it looks awfully suspicious. I I'm suspect from the claims, right. and I don't believe all of these people will get right. such a huge result because I guess he's a doctor. I would have heard about these if right. they worked. That's right. Frankly, you and I both. Right. <laughs> so there are a lot of these companies out there, and they always very wisely put before and afters. You've seen all these, right? So I was curious how this actually works. So we actually did a little deep dive. So take this picture right here, all right? So let's just focus on that one. I want to know where did that come from? So we actually found the Instagram handle for that. And we found the original photos from which the company poached the pictures to show before and after. And I was able to get her Instagram address. So we contacted her. I have the interaction right here. This is my email to her and her response. I asked her for permission to be polite to show her backside on our show. It's an awkward email to send. <laughs> Here's what I got back. This is what she wrote me, an email. It says, 
Um, I'm so sorry, I have never used the product. That's who said she was, be, you know, that, that's how she did it. That The company said that that's the product she was using. I don't know why they're posting my pictures. Best wishes, Lynn. Never saw it. She did give me permission, by the way, to use these pictures in order to demonstrate that it wasn't done by another product, but by you know, sweat and a lot of work, right? And this is the thing that frustrates me. It's so easy to hack this. So up next, what's in these pills anyway? We noticed the ingredient labels on these different pill bottles are very similar to each other. You look on the back, they all say the same thing. So we wanted to know, could these ingredients keep the promise of the pills, which is a bigger butt without weight gain and really, really fast. So that's called investigating the ingredients. Walk us through what you found and could they give us a bigger bottom? Well, the evidence that we looked into and what we found is there's absolutely no evidence that suggests that these can give you a bigger butt. That's the first thing I need to say. Um, and actually, you know, many of the ingredients that we found in these supplements seem to be almost like a random list of herbs, fruits, and roots that really can act differently in the body. Mm -hmm. So we've, we've got a few examples here. Let's just go through them. Um, we did find some trends, which I'm going to point out to you. This is saw palmetto. And a lot of people are familiar with this conceptually because they think of it when it's used for an enlarged prostate and things like that. But honestly, there's not a lot of scientific evidence actually that says it should be used for any health condition at all. So that sort of seems random. And big prostate, itself. big butt, not the same thing. Not the same thing. Yeah. Not, so. not the same thing. Yeah. We've got fenugreek right here. This is actually a spice. Um, this can be used for digestive issues, um, reportedly used for diabetes, um, and also in breastfeeding women. But again, there's no scientific evidence that shows that this works for any health condition. Furthermore, it can act like an estrogen in the body, and that's something that I worry about and can be dangerous. But no evidence that it can make your butt bigger. Um, we've got maca powder. Powder, maca powder, yeah. maca powder. They have um, that in Peru in the Andes. Do they? Yeah. Do they? Well, actually, this may act like an estrogen in the body as well. So you're seeing kind of like a trend. I keep mentioning this word estrogen that I've mentioned twice. We get to wild yam. There's a chemical in this that in the lab can be converted to an estrogen. And then the aguaje fruit over here um, actually has a nickname called the curvy fruit. So oh. theoretically, it's supposed to make you more curvy. That sounds good. It does. But yeah. there's actually no evidence that suggests that it does this. And some people say that it contains a plant estrogen, but we really don't. Have so four of these of might have estrogen impact. Could that, could that possibly work? If you mimic how estrogen makes you more curvy, could it make your bottom side bigger as well? I think that's a really good question. Now, the products don't actually say that that's what they're going for. They don't say that, look, we're putting in estrogen-like products, and this is what's going to make your butt bigger. They don't say that. They don't actually say how their products work really at all. They don't even mention the word estrogen. These are just things that we noted as we were looking at the individual products. You know, and something I just got to say about estrogen, you know, as a doctor, Doctor, you know, and we know this, right? Estrogen can have side effects. It can mess with your hormones. It can cause side effects, increase certain risks of cancer in some women, and, and, and uh, cause other medical problems. So this is not a small thing. It's, that's why it's a big deal. And the big issue for me, since we're talking about big things, is, if you could, is there a pill? Could you imagine, oh imagine taking a pill to make your hands bigger, right? right? Or your feet bigger. Would you believe that was possible? No. Right, it's already growing, it's the size it's gonna be. Right. right, and logically it's just not feasible that a single pill could only affect one part of your body so perfectly that your bottom would get larger. It's just not gonna happen, guys. That's why I'm so surprised these guys are hooking into us. But people love this stuff. They so do. how is it possible yeah. that companies are getting away with this? How come folks are not being shut down? I'm glad we're talking about this because really these fall under the category of supplements and the supplement industry is really poorly regulated. I mean the FDA loosely regulates but they don't test these products necessarily. And you know what it means is it's kind of like the wild wild west out there. I mean that's why a lot of these companies are making outrageous claims and we see all sorts of you know before and after pictures and things like that. Um, so it, it's really you know it's really a big deal and something we need to, to think about. You know something I often say is if it sounds or looks too good to be true it just might be. Yeah. Well, this was a good example. Well, here's the deal now. There are ways, there are ways that people can get bigger butts. And there's some right ways and wrong ways to do it. So up next, what happens when the desire for a bigger butt goes too far? We'll be right back with that.